Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Alex. Now, first of all, before this video starts, I wanna mention that this video was supposed to drop yesterday. But as you notice, I actually went to the tattoo shop and it was actually quite longer than I expected. And I got home and was exhausted. I spent the whole day there and I just couldn't pull off that video because I wanna do it in a good way. I wanna have like a proper video. I didn't wanna rush it. So that's why I uploaded it today. That's why I'm also recording in a tank top because I can't really wear a shirt right now. Otherwise my t-shirt is gonna get all, you know, dirty from the cream and all that but aside from that guys in this video i'm going to show you guys some next level color grading and of course i've showed you guys multiple times over the years how to color grade in vegas pro but we're actually working on a documentary that's going to re release i think around march to may 2021 so we have some test footage of that and we actually shot it on an incredible camera now up to that point i thought like all right this is like the raw footage it is kind of like a good opportunity to show you guys how to grade it because as you can see right now this is a video i dropped on my Instagram and Twitter with some color grading from that actual camera footage that I just created a little montage of. That is what we're gonna, you know, simulate today. I also posted a video last week shot with the same camera and I just applied some color grading onto it as you can see with the transition and the huge difference that it makes. A lot of things to cover today. I'm not really sure how long this video is gonna be at this point, but I'm gonna try to keep it under 15 minutes. So with that all the way, guys, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as always. Let's start color grading, obviously, right after the intro. So now that we are in Vegas Pro 17, we have a blank project open. Before I'm gonna drag in the footage, I'm gonna also explain to you guys which camera we specifically used because I placed some Instagram, I mean some YouTube stories on my channel and people were asking constantly which camera it is because my YouTube story got viewed like tens of thousands of times. So that's why I just decided like, all right, I'm just gonna create a video about color grading instead of replying to a thousand comments. Okay, so the footage that we shot from the camera, if you export that from from your card onto your computer is gonna be ProRes raw footage. This is the footage that we shot. This is just test footage of the documentary that we're shooting because let's be honest, if you're gonna shoot a documentary like full length, one and a half hour, I didn't really wanna use my Canon G7X because that's just not gonna cut it. The camera that we used is a black magic one. As you can see right now, I'll just you know overlay a couple pictures. And the lens we used was the Sigma 18 by 35 millimeters. It was a great setup. We had it on a tripod and this is basically the clip if I play it back. We had the cameraman also just, you know, adjusting the camera. Filmed at 25 frames per second. And this is just the cameraman adjusting a couple, you know, like positions. We're not going to apply some standard LUT filters on it because I'm going to also show you how to do that because you might be happy with like LUT filters you can find online. It doesn't have to be necessarily really, really complicated. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start off by going to the video effects tab. And if you go to the brightness and contrast at the top and if you drag on the default one onto the both clips or actually the entire track right here you have three markers the brightness the contrast and the contrast center now let's bring up the brightness just a little bit but we're going to mainly focus on the contrast itself so if i bring that one up as you can see it looks really really good and saturated this is only just brightness and contrast guys let alone if we're going to mess with the saturation of course if you shot something if i play it back as you can see the camera footage looks already really really good great but if you want to have like a certain vibe to your video for example something dark or whatever you can like really highlight all of these colors because we had like this blue light in the background if you're happy with it you're good to go and this is how you can spice up the video itself but when it comes to color grading you can see how much big of a difference it makes if i uncheck the effects so let's just uncheck it and let's go back and let's go to the video effects tab again and go to the l where it says a lot filter and if we drag on the default one on the track as well we can also 
go ahead and mess around with the presets and see which one looks better. But I would actually not recommend using LUT filters because LUT is actually just going to bring up the contrast too much or it's going to be way too dark. And the bad thing is that you can only mess around with the strength. That's it. You cannot have like certain markers, for example, the saturation, the hue, all of these temperatures, the gain. You can only mess with the strength and that you're, you're so limited when it comes to LUT filters. So let's uncheck that one as well. And let's open up the way that we're going to do it by pressing on our keyboard Alt G. These are the color panels that will pop up at the very bottom of the screen. And that will allow us way and way more than just adding standard LUT filters or brightness and contrast. Let's start off with the first marker. So you, if we want to decide which kind of colors you want to amplify. So let's start off with the first one. So of course we have a blue light in the background. But if we drag this one to the blue, it's just going to completely ruin the footage. So we're going to stay off the lift. Let's go to the gamma. And we can also add, for example, like a little bit more of a blue tone to it. But if you go to the gain, you can also see that will adjust the blue in different kinds than the previous two. And let's put this one a little bit more to the blue side of things like that. But the cool thing is that on the right, we have this bar at the very top. It says brightness. So if you check that one, we can go and mess with the brightness in certain like senses. You can just mess also where that keyframe is. But you also have the very bottom one that's going to change like the overall brightness. So let's make it a little bit darker and also go back to the very top one. And we can also make that a little bit brighter as well. Now, what's really cool is you can separate colors. So let's uncheck the brightness for now. And let's only focus on the red by checking this one. So now it's only going to pay attention to the red colors in the screen to keep or like your skin color kind of like the same as we had it before. We're just not going to mess with the red marker too much. But if you go to the green one, there's not much green in it. Drag that one a little bit more up like that and also go to the blue. Now, this is where things really come to life because if you drag this one down, it makes it a little less harsh on blue things because we also have like a blue light in the background. And you can really change up the vibe if you pick the top marker and you bring that down, for example, it's going to show a little bit more green and also go to the red one and we can really grade it until we're happy with it. You can also pick, for example, color levels and we can drag every single keyframe down how we want it. So we can really, really make this footage come to life. And it's actually up to you how downwards you're going to put it because that's just a personal taste. So let's go ahead and reset these settings and let's go to the ASL. So the first marker is actually gonna change up a lot of background colors as you can see but it's also gonna take up our skin color so we're not gonna mess with that one too much. I would bring that up just a little bit. Then the second marker is basically gonna intensify the colors behind us and actually on the entire screen. Drag that up quite a bit to give it more saturation. Then on the very right as you can see it is more like the brightness so you can also bring that for example just like that. Okay so then at the very bottom we can also add in extra LUT filters. If you click on browse it's just kind of the same as going to the video effects tab and select your LUT in there. But it's totally up to you how you want to grade this footage, guys, because it, you have like so many different options. So if I go to the second clip, as you can see, the lighting on the background is so much more accented. And of course, if you go to the video effects tab, you can also go to the color corrector, the secondary one, drag it on top of the track. And then you can also mess with the gamma. So let's bring that a little bit down. Saturation, we're going to bring that up quite a bit. So you don't want to mess with the rotation hue because it's going to change the color of the background also of ourselves. Then you can also bring up the gain a lot more and also the offset. You can bring that down or up if you want to. I'm just going to put it, for example, to this. That looks great. And the alpha, you just want to keep that on maximum. Now you can also limit the lumen bring down the high one and really, really customize the footage on how you like it as much. You can also limit the saturation. So if you drag that up, you're just going to take a lot of saturation into the clip or out of the clip. And you can also make this a lot smoother, as you can see. So now we have a lot of really, really bright colors on the curtains. But myself in the chair is actually just pretty plain and like like the raw footage. So you can also bring that up. You can also bring it down to high if you want to, to really make your footage come to life. And lastly, you can also limit the hue. So if you drag the center up and the width down, you can also choose like a couple settings in between and you can also smoothen that however you like. Now, of course, we have also a custom button. So if you drag that up, we can have multiple scenes and multiple vibes of the clip by also changing the rotation hue. You can also bring up the saturation right here from going black and white sorta because right now we only have the blue light the rest of this entire screen is black and white and that's because we dragged down the saturation a little too much so the gamma is allowing you to make things brighter as well
well. You can bring down the gain, for example, like if you want to pretend you're in a really dark room and you can just bring that up quite a bit as well. And right here, the limit saturation and the limit hue are just repeated from this other menu that you have next to the custom tab. All right, so the next thing is the fill light option. So if you drag that onto our track, it's going to brighten up our footage just a little bit. But if you bring up the strength, it's just going to make our footage look kind of the same as how we recorded it. So you want to also just bring that up all the way. And if you pay attention, it's going to make a really, really small difference. If you look at my face, if I bring up the tint, it's going to give my face like a little bit more of a color. And also the softness is something that you can actually decide to put completely down or also completely up to give more of a smooth look but i think if you bring it down all the way that looks the best go to auto looks at the very top drag that onto your timeline as well and i would actually mess between certain filters so if you mess around with these of course it's totally up to you you can also lower the strength just a little bit and see which kind of filter is actually fitting the best onto your clip for example this one and now i think our footage looks very very good so if i go ahead and uncheck all the effects on the track this is what the raw footage looks if we drag it into vegas pro without any color grading so nothing has been applied onto it yet and if we go ahead and apply all the effects to it this is what the end result looks like guys it's really cool and it really takes a lot of stuff to the next level when it comes to like really making a lot of colors powerful for example the second clip where we have a lot of blue highlights and it's totally up to you how you want to grade it like i've mentioned everybody's taste is different so this is how you color grade in vegas pro using some really really great footage and like i've mentioned this is shot on a black magic camera with an 18 by 55 millimeter lens and of course you can also do additional color grading if you really want to pay attention to other objects into the screen and it's totally up to you so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for the continued support now you guys know how to properly color grade in vegas pro 17 using some really really good footage you don't need like a four thousand dollar camera in order to grade like this i would recommend to use the most decent camera you can get your hands on smartphones have really good quality these days webcams as well so you guys don't need like the most expensive equipment to get started if this video went by too fast guys make sure to pause and rewind it do it at your own tempo and i'll see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video